Hey, what's up guys? Um, I have a very much anticipated unboxing here that I've been waiting for for, well, since July, I think is when it was announced. Was it July? June, July, August? It was the summer it was announced. It's the Creep Show uh, Scream Factory Special Edition, or whatever it's called. Is it anything specific? I think it's just, you know, the Special Edition. Uh, from George A. Romero and from Stephen King. This is a film that I've actually never seen. I've seen Creepshow 2, and I really enjoyed that. I've been looking forward to getting this, but I knew that there was good... This is such an iconic film that people really highly regard that I knew at some point Screen Factory or Arrow or somebody would put out a special, feature, a special edition. And they did, thankfully. And it took a while to get here because of all the shit I've already mentioned about um, delays and stuff. And um, I literally just took these out of the, the long package like I usually get. And put these down here and turn the camera on because I wanted to get this going. But I did just notice something on the side here. I don't know if you can tell. In fact, maybe i got to take the plastic off first. But Can you tell? It's crushed right here. And I'm, I'm very upset about it. I don't know. I actually almost didn't do this video staring at that. Because I'm, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to contact them about that. Because I, I don't like that at all. Especially after having to wait this long for it. It is the 20... Thursday the 25th, it's the, yeah, it's the evening, it's about uh, 9.30 p.m. Central. And it was, it was, this was released on Tuesday of this week, so not only was it not two weeks early, it was two days late, three days late almost. Which, you know, whatever, I know, I've complained about that enough, I, I get it, a lot of people were affected, it sucks. It's, and if I was getting things that were not damaged, I don't think I'd care as much. But it's like, I haven't even checked the fucking posters out yet, by the way. So, you know what? Maybe I should do that first. Or would that just piss me off more? I'm assuming they're fucking garbage. But I don't know. I'm gonna open this first. Like I said, I was kind of putting if I should even open this. But, fuck it, I've waited this long. I wanted to open it up. That's fucking bullshit. Look at that. You can see a little better now. Look at that. That's completely smashed. So that's a great start. Comes with a booklet, and this is kind of bent and whatnot, but whatever. I have not seen the films. So maybe I don't want to look at this. I'll just go through the pictures quick. For those that want to see it. Looks so like it's an essay or two talking about all the um, segments in the film. And behind the scenes stuff, and there's a Stephen King creep show. Very cool. Some posters, poster art, evil eyes. It's a little bent. There's the disc. The case itself looks like it's okay. I think I'll keep this artwork. So this is, I think, is the original artwork, theatrical artwork. It's got a comic book look in the back, sort of like how um, Creepshow 2 looks, actually. But I'm going to keep that. Hold on, let me take a look at the disc. Disc looks fine. There is a couple smudges, but they're not scratches, so I'm not going to bitch about that. I think the case looks fine. These special features, I assume, are the same, right? They're, yeah, same information. So there's the synopsis. And the. Yeah. And this is the special features. There's a lot of special features on here. New 4K scan. Uh, approved by uh, Marco Gornick, director. Uh, new audio commentary. New Terror in the Three Rivers. Roundtable discussion. Cast and crew. New comic book look. Interview with costume director. Blah, blah, blah. New color of Creep Show. A look at the restoration of Creep Show with Michael Gornick. Audio commentary with director, director Mira, special effects, and then I think typical, yeah. Very cool stuff. Okay, so this is probably one, one of my most anticipated releases this year that I, a movie that I didn't own anyway. There's a couple steel books I'm getting later still that I'm looking forward to, I think. Or maybe not, I don't know. It's a nice thick box at least. I wish there was some, actually like artwork here as opposed to the special features because since it's on the disc, you wouldn't think you'd need it, but it'd be nice to have some artwork instead, but that's not a big deal. This is a fucking big deal. I don't know, like again, can you, I don't know if you can see this very well. Oh shit. You can see that it's just smashed. And that is some bullshit. 
but whatever, I guess. Like, I, I'm gonna have to email somebody. Um, all right, now let's take a look at the posters. I hope they're all right. If the posters are all right, maybe I'll just leave it leave it alone. But no, nah, this is still annoying to me. I don't know. There are posters plural in here. I was open the wrong end. Okay, this is all. Shit. You know, before I even open it up here, I don't know if you can see this. If I show you, look at this. You can already see how crumpled it look. Which at this point is pretty normal. In fact, is that a giant divot in there? What is that? I'm gonna have to take this out and look at them. I'm already not accept happy about this. This looks like shit. Literally, they're just shoving them in here. Yeah, look. This is what it looks like as I'm taking it out. This is not looking good. Like, they're on top of each other here, which is fine. So there's one normal size poster and then the lithograph. Look at this. All along the side here. Of course, they don't have any more of these, so if I complain about it, it's going to give me, what, a $4 coupon or something? It is just the edges, thankfully, but still, framing this is... It's a nice image, too. I like this artwork. It's cool. Right, hold on. I'm going to the lithograph now. Has the usual vents, and uh, this looks like it's mostly okay. It's got a divot here. Which you can look at that, it's all bent, but it's like I guess considering it's not that bad. What size is this? I, only, I think it's 21.5 or something by, or 28.5. Size is very weird. I, don't, I haven't been able to frame any of these lithographs yet because the sizing is so weird. Like I, I think I've mentioned it before, but. It's just, it'd be expensive because they'd be custom. All of them would be custom. Unless they'd be just, I'd put it in a size that's not the right size and it would just be like white space. But yeah, it's, it's still the usual shit, but it's not as bad as I was thinking. The, the, the other poster is what's really bad. This is a nice art. This is obviously the cover, so it's not so bad. It's kind of nice work work, actually. But um, I'm not, I'm displeased with the divot on the actual case and then the poster basically being crumpled. It's like a, this fucking scent there too, look at that. What the fuck ever. I don't know. I... It's getting to the point now where like I don't even know if I trust ordering from them anymore because I feel like the last couple times, like, so when they're on crunch time, trying to get shit out, their shit is even more worse, packaged worse than the usual. I don't know. I don't know. I was so looking forward to this, too. I feel like it's all tainted now. Um, let me actually read this. I didn't read this yet. I was just taking pictures. Um, let's see. Uh, Masters of the Macabre, writer Stephen King and director George A. Romero, conjure up five shocking yarns, each a virtuoso exercise in the ghouls and gag style of classic 50s horror comics. A murdered man emerges from the grave for Father's Day cake. A meteor's ooze makes everything grow. A professor selects his wife as a snack for a crated, a crated, excuse me, a crated creature. A scheming husband plants 
two lovers up to their necks in terror. A malevolent millionaire with an insect phobia becomes the prey of a cockroach army. Add the spirited performances of an excellent cast, Hal Holbrook, Adrian Barbeau, Leslie Nielsen, Ted Danson, E.G. Marshall, and King himself, and the ghoulish makeup wizardry of Tom Savini, and you have a nonstop thrilling ride that plays like an anthology of human phobia. Roger Ebert. He's got a quote up here, too. Well, Marilyn and King have approached this movie with humor and affection, as well as an appreciation of the macabre. Very cool. But yeah, I'm still upset about the fucking poster in this tent. And honestly, if it was anywhere else besides on this side, I might forgive it, but it's, this is the display side where I see it, and it's just... I'm so tired of this shit. I'm, I was really hoping that they'd get this shit in on early, but um, I think for this year, I still have Candyman, Starman, and um, The Thing, Steelbook, at least. Maybe something else, too, I forgot. I had those pre-ordered, and I'm just... I'm very upset, I think, about this, so... Whatever. Anyway. Um, well, I'll just leave it down. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like I said, I'm annoyed with how this is going, but I really... I don't know. I'm going to have to email them about that. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, like usual. Um, uh, don't let my mood make it seem like it's bad. This is obviously a great release that they've done here. I just do not like how I received it and how the service has been since, and it's just disappointing. Um... But this looks, I haven't seen it, like I said, but it looks like it's a good presentation. Probably the best you're going to get of the movie itself. So obviously it's most likely still worth a purchase if you're into this film. But I just don't like the way this is presented right now. So blah, blah, blah. I'll just shut up and deal with it later. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you again later with more unboxings in the future. So thanks for watching and bye.